Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Northeast Ohioans are worried the first round of COVID-19 vaccinations isn't happening fast enough. This comes after learning the Cleveland Clinic in Florida began vaccinating people 65 and older. But we still don't know when that could happen here. Five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis going in depth. Hello everyone, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis. Northeast Ohio residents are worried Ohio's effort to get out the first round of COVID-19 vaccinations may not be happening quickly enough. Some here in the News 5 viewing area became especially concerned after learning the Cleveland Clinic in Florida has already begun taking appointments for the vaccine for residents 65 and older. On the Cleveland Clinic website, you can start signing up if you live in Florida. Diane Scythe of North Ridgeville says she was a bit stunned when she saw appointments for the COVID-19 vaccine were being accepted by Cleveland Clinic Martin Health locations in Florida starting back on December 30th. If you, you're 65 in Florida and you can go get in line, why can't we here? News 5 asked the Cleveland Clinic here in Northeast Ohio that question, and it said each state is following its own guidance. Details are still being worked out for here, and we'll share them as soon as we have them. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Clinic in Florida is being inundated with vaccine appointment requests. My understanding is that uh, in the first half hour or so, we received over 10,000 calls. Yesterday, the Centers for Disease Control reported Ohio is lagging behind Pennsylvania, Indiana, Kentucky, Virginia, Michigan, and several other states on the number of initial vaccine doses issued per 100,000 residents. Wednesday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine acknowledged vaccine rates in Ohio need to be better. The numbers that I was looking on our dashboard uh, were not going up, frankly, as, as fast as I, I thought that thought that they should. And both the governor and the CDC admitted the reporting of those getting the vaccine is lagging significantly. There's been an input problem, uh, a problem, and we're trying to work, work that out. In response, DeWine asked Ohio hospitals to pick up the pace, hoping they can administer and record each vaccination within 24 hours of receiving its doses. But University Hospitals told News 5 it's hard to schedule appointments when vaccine supply delivery dates aren't always reliable. Remember, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so we're trying to avoid long lines. So everyone needs a scheduled appointment. So 24 hours may be a little aggressive. And while Ohioans play the waiting game, people like Diane Scythe hope the state can pick up the vaccine pace in the coming weeks. And I'm hoping that it's equitable across the country. And University Hospital Chief Operating Officer Dr. Robin Strosaker told News 5 she believes the vaccine will be available to the general public here in Ohio by March, with the state starting to vaccinate those in the 1B category, including people over 65, by mid-January. I'm five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis. Hey there, happy Monday. Got a couple snowflakes flying around. Roads could be slippery in spots, but not everywhere. And again, as we go through the day today, been talking about it all morning on Good Morning Cleveland. Things should actually dry out through the day. Problem is we stay cloudy. We'll still keep a couple flurries in the forecast, but temperatures struggle. We're stuck in the mid 30s all day today, all night tonight, all day tomorrow. And then we'll finally start to see some sunshine. It's just not going to warm us up much at all. Going through the next seven days, get used to January and January cold. 30s through midweek. I'll show you the rest of the week in a few minutes. Stick around. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.